right now please take it high for me you are not going to shout just allow me to do the speaking and I want you to bring all those under the anointing now when I make that declaration you don't shout usually I'll ask you to shout but the Lord is telling me something differently and I want to please ushers will be very very fast I'm seeing a door in the spirit this is what I'm seeing and I'm seeing there are chains tied to that door and tied to people this is what the Lord is showing me and the Lord is saying these people need to be set free now some of them are whole families some of them are individuals who have been asking what is the cause of this issue in our life right now I'm going to pray father in the name of Jesus everyone who is tied by any demonic chain of witchcraft I told your people that the price has been fully paid and I announce again to the realm of the spirit that every price for your liberty has been paid therefore in the name of Jesus be released now be released now bring them out Yahweh Sabaoth Yahweh Sabaoth Yahweh Sabaoth Yahweh Ta ra 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 Ta ra 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 Ta ra 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 Ta ra 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 At the count of three i'm seeing fire falling now and as soon as that happens please bring them out quickly there are chains that are going to be breaking right now age long chains father in the name of jesus everyone under the sound of my voice who has been bound by witchcraft of any kind at the count of three let those chains be broken now one two three break now break now break now Break now! Break now! Break now! Break now! Sakate pakato katsegeta. I command those chains to be broken. No matter how long they have tied you, tied your family, tied your destiny. In the name of Jesus, be broken right now. Chains of poverty, chains of sickness afflictions of any and all kinds be broken now bring them out mysterious chains afflictions in the dream all kinds of things eating demonic things going to satanic places I arrest them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost I arrest them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost hear me I'm hearing in my spirit remove names from covens in the name of Jesus this one I'm going to pray for you I'm going to ask you to shout Jesus any name of anyone here or any family that has been written in any satanic coven right now as you shout that name let fire burn everything right now one Two, three, shout Jesus. Let it be burnt now. Let it be burnt now. Every ordinance, every ill speaking, every ordinance, be broken, be broken, blotting out every handwriting, be broken in the name of Jesus. Please bring them out quickly. Whether you are an usher or not, if someone is under the anointing close to you, please bring them. There's a reason I ask you to bring them. The ushers are limited, my apologies, but please help them. 
Parakatosha brenda gebeleke toske fresh. Chains, 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 chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. I'm hearing Kogi State. Kogi State. Kogi State. What is it that has to do with ancestry? That is tying down people from that region. Right now, you are from that state. Anything that has hapakatoskiata that has tied you down, be broken now. Be broken now. I'm hearing Kogi State. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. Hallelujah. Now, please hear me. The Lord wants to bring deliverance to families. If at all they marry, the women must return back to their parents' homes. I'm praying for you. I don't know what curse and what yoke is upon such families. But right now, in the name of Jesus, by the authority that is in the finished work of Christ, let that curse be broken now. 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 I'm hearing in my spirit shame and reproach. Hear me. I preached a message here last year called Ichabod. There are many of you as you are standing now. There is no dignity and no honor in your life. Everything that represents honor for you and your family has been taken away by darkness. Can I pray for you? That veil, I, I tell you, I see the power of God resting on people right now. Every veil sitting on your head, covering your glory, bringing shame and reproach. I tear that veil now. 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 I'm hearing a name Jennifer. Jennifer. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer. let me tell you if God locates you that's the end of it Jennifer I want to pray for you there is one of you I'm seeing that people don't rise there's a spirit I'm seeing like like stones this is what I'm seeing father I don't know what altar has tied down Jennifer's destiny but right now by the power that is in the name of Jesus let that altar catch fire now let it catch fire now let it catch fire now let it catch fire now there's someone they call you junior your name is junior I don't know junior that's what they call you that's what I'm hearing in my spirit they call you junior I want to pray for you please make sure you don't tell lies if you are not junior sit back quietly so that we don't waste time junior there's someone the power of God is coming on you you work in UBA United Bank for Africa there is trouble I need to pray for you UBA you work in UBA I want to pray for you in the name that is above all names I'm praying for that gentleman you are a male in the name of Jesus every conspiracy that is about to lead to your losing your job because you came here this night what God says to one he says to all in the name of Jesus anything that wants you to leave what God gave you whether it's a job whether it's a position I arrest it now in the name of Jesus junior why am I saying ladies? You are called Junior? Okay, Jennifer. Junior. Father. My friend, God is going to use you mightily. This man. Eh? I don't know you. But you need, you need God to train you and build you. But there is a mighty man of God that is coming out of you. I'm praying that the grace of God will rest upon you. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Junior, I want to pray for you. I'm not a prophet of doom, but I'm seeing one of you is like a spirit and I'm seeing crying upon your mother's coffin that something happened and she just died. In the name that is above all names, I pray for you, Junior, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every pit the devil is digging for your mother to enter and die because you have come here they are exempted from death they are exempted from death i'm seeing someone you deal with metals metals is it construction or fabrication you deal with metals i'm seeing someone stand and all around him i'm seeing metals i want to pray for you for these ladies have i prayed for them jennifer please help them jennifer there are two of you i just saw light come on you and the lord is telling me that everything that represents reproach is living right now in the name of jesus Believe what you are seeing, no, because what God is doing here, He's doing the same thing in your life now. He's doing the same thing in your family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, um, the Lord is asking me to pray for someone who will be very fast about this, and I don't want you to be embarrassed. If you are not comfortable coming out, that's fine, don't come out. But you are trusting God for male children. This is your prayer. You have cried this thing and cried. God gave you female. I don't know. But your prayer is for a male child. Ordinarily, I would not want to ask you to come out. But I'm hearing this in my spirit. God does these things as a witness. So that men will know that there is a God in heaven. You are trusting God for a male child not that there is anything wrong with gender whatever number one make sure you are married number two you are trusting god please if i call you let's be able to distinguish who is who is um, coming if i prayed for you in jesus name you are you are blessed we'll take testimony shortly please quickly quickly if you are coming out come if it's a spouse you can come together A lady is going to start shouting and prophesying by the spirit it is a grace that is coming upon her and she's going to be used mightily by God for her family remember when the spirit that was upon Moses rested upon 70 elders. Listen, let me tell you sincerely, my dear people, God answers prayers that you have come here openly. I pray for you. The women can place their hand on, on their stomach. The men, your chest or just connect by faith. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. There's one of you, I'm seeing something tie you. That thing is about to leave you now. I'm seeing something like a snake tying you. Let it go now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, it must release you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying, but the person the power of God is coming on is in the congregation. Every time you are pregnant, you see snakes, serpents. And when that happens, you must lose that pregnancy. God is ministering to that person now wherever you are i stretch my hands whatever connects you to serpentine spirits that will not allow you rise in the name of jesus be free now be free now be free now for those of you in front here because you have come by the word of the lord and i'm praying for those in front but it includes everyone i see lots of people at the overflows in the name of jesus according to the time of life may the lord give you the male children you desire 
I don't know if you are going to believe this, but there's one of you standing in front here. The Lord is doing a divine surgery now. I'm seeing something being removed from your stomach, literally, as you are standing in front here. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, right now, may the Lord do that supernatural surgery. That supernatural surgery. The Lord is asking me to pray for someone. You just stand and you start misbehaving for a few minutes. People have been suspecting that you have, um, I don't know what the medical condition will be now, but this is something like an early stage of madness. You just misbehave, you become disoriented. A spirit comes on you and you want to remove your clothes. You are an adult, so I'm not talking of a small child. And I'm not talking of maybe someone autistic. If there's such a person as that please come out i want to pray for you so that god will deliver you now for those of you who are in front here in the name of jesus according to the time of life go and return with your children in jesus name we pray amen and amen christopher 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 i'm hearing the name christopher Christopher. Christopher. Shali Sali Kabaruska Brendigidia. Sir, where are you coming from? East. Oh, yeah. I want to pray for you. Thanks. Don't feel bad, eh? But I need to pray for you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you inside a coffin. And I'm wondering what is somebody who is alive doing inside a coffin. You see, let me tell you, we are intelligent people. Though. When we deal with demonic people, we are not stupid people. There is a place for principles and intelligence. But if you walk with God and God opens your eyes to the realm of the spirit, that's when you will know that evil is real. Christopher, I'm looking, don't be embarrassed. If God calls you here, it's because he, he's bringing you liberty. That you are looking at a man standing but in the spirit you are seeing somebody inside a coffin what is he doing there one day an ordinary bike will just hit you and you just fall down and that will be the end of it no anything that is plotting death for you hear me in the name of jesus like her man whoever digs a pit may they fall into it I say it again whoever digs a pit in the name of Jesus they fall into it Christopher in the name of Jesus I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead one of you will start shaking now very strong under the anointing not just falling shaking I don't know why but this is what I saw in my vision shaking like somebody's vibrating under the power of God and it's an impartation that is happening to you it's not deliverance it's an impartation by the spirit I stretch my hands now over Christopher particularly this man that I prophesy to you are receiving the spirit of wisdom there is a Christopher that is receiving the spirit of wisdom extraordinary results will happen by the wisdom of God in your life sir by the power of the prophetic I bring you out of every coven every grave in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah there are many many pastors here many many pastors but there is a pastor there is a pastor that is i'm um, not the basement the other overflow the smaller one before outside there is a pastor there if you locate a pastor there please i want him to come i want to pray for him his life is about to change in the name of jesus christ <laughs> hallelujah Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone, your mother sells food. Don't be embarrassed. Your mother sells food by the roadside. 
this is i'm seeing a vision your mother sells food by the roadside but you are a diligent person and you want to move forward with your life this is what your mother does and she's been taking care of her family the lord is saying i should impart favor on you i don't know who that person is don't tell lies your mother not your auntie not your relative your mother come one of the first laws of receiving from god is obedience you can't tell lies and want to come and receive there are some of you who want to come out for everything if it's not your word just be patient i've taught you on faith be patient god will speak to you he doesn't have to directly call my god something is going to happen to these people now hi this my god this my god Your mother is selling by the roadside. Please make sure you. Number two, don't be embarrassed. There's one of you here. You are living in the house of a rich man. You know what I mean? Leave that house after the service. Because I'm seeing something that has to do with the ritual with you. I fear God though, and I respect myself. I will not hold the mic here before the whole world and be talking stupid things. I'm telling you now. This man sleeps with you. That's your work. Let me just go straight. I'm sorry for being vulgar. I know we're talking to the whole globe. But this is your, it's not like your house help or maybe they employed you. This is your work. I'm telling you this. They are going to ask that man to bring somebody and he's going to bring you the house of god is like a hospital there are times you are performing surgery on people it may look messy but the truth is that the end is the health and the safety of the people hallelujah your mother i'm going to pray for you because many of you here you love god don't be ashamed though don't say my mother sells something and is petty and so on and so forth. There is nothing to be ashamed of. You are about to witness the lifting power of Jesus. Because for some of you, the first thing I want to do here is to break. There is a curse that will not allow your family members rise. And for some of you, if I don't pray for you, not to insult your mother, but what she's doing is what you will still do. Even if you're a graduate, I pray for you in the name that is above all names every spirit that will not allow you rise paraka shopranjege balakoskia baratoshia branteka baratosia as i'm praying for them i'm praying for you whatever wants to keep you down that you will not rise that you will not shine that you will not thrive in the name of jesus i take authority over it now i take authority over it now i take authority over it now hear me hence god called you people to come out here i decree and declare the grace called favor that rests upon people and rewrites their story if you believe this i impart that grace upon you i impart that grace upon you i impart that grace upon you you will return a sign and a wonder in the name of jesus christ Verse 23 and 24. Galatians 1. God wants to walk through you. Not for pride and arrogance. Are you getting me? I'm not talking of the kind of lifting and influence that takes you to hell. But they had heard only that he which persecuted us in time past now preached faith which once he destroyed. 24. Everybody read it. One to read. And what? How did they glorify God? That means when they saw what God did with my life and they said, Lord, is this what you meant when you said you can bless people? Is this what you meant when you said you can use people? Are you ready to pray this prayer again? Lift up your voice. Say, Lord, I'm available. I'm available. Shake kabayadaba. Make a spectacle out of my life lord make a spectacle out of koinonia in 2014 Dr. Sasso, let there be a display 
of the glory. Let the nation see we are a city on a hill. They glorified God in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to pray for yourself now and your family. And say, Lord, it's also my year of dominion. Listen. You are going to pray. And say, Lord, I don't just want to chorus this. It must be dominion. Dominion means absolute control. Are you listening to me? Therefore, pray that for you and your family, whatever has mocked God to your face, this is the year it must come under your feet. Lift your voice and pray. Dominion, O oh God. Kingdom authority. Pray. Is it finance? Is it a terminal disease? Is it lack of breakthrough? Is it sin? Your family members are not saved. Pray. Get angry in your spirit. Those outside are you praying? Those outside are you praying? Record to secretary. Total dominion. No more fibro this year. No more getting sick and getting well. No. Pray. No more prosperity today and poverty tomorrow. You will not be on fire today and backslide tomorrow. No. The part of the church is as a shining light. It shines brighter. Brighter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now you are going to pray for Koinonia. We are going to say, Lord, take us to another level. Take us to another level. Another level of impact. Another level of prosperity. Pair yourselves into three. Pair yourselves into three. Those who are lying down or praying, just leave them. Those who cannot stand, just leave them. I want us to pray seriously. Hallelujah. You are going to say, Lord, lift us up. We are not just asking for faith. We are asking for impact. Salvation. Transformation. Come on, lift your hands and pray. Let this place become Bethel. The place of bread. Bethel. The place of bread. If you love this ministry, pray. The ministry is not Joshua Selman. The ministry is you. Lord, a harvest of souls. A harvest of souls. A harvest of souls. A harvest of souls. Transformation, oh God. Drunkards will come here and become apostles. Substitutes will come and become prophets. Your word is mighty and it prevails in our midst. Your word is mighty and it prevails in our midst. This year we experience character. We experience excellence at another dimension. We experience wealth and prosperity as a ministry at another dimension. Revival, oh God. Let there be a fire of revival that will spark from here and spread to the nations and spread to cities and spread to campuses and spread. Pray. Pray for our Friday program. Pray for the counseling. Pray for all our external ministrations. Record to secretary. 
Pray. Pray for the miracle services. Lord, let every service be a miracle service. Beginning from this one, let every service be a miracle service. Let this place become a solution center. Let this place become a place of authentic miracles, authentic signs, wonders, breakthroughs, restoration. Let the sick come and be healed. Let blind eyes be healed. Let incurable diseases be cured. Let there be a mantle of healing, of breakthrough, of prosperity. May men come here and have their spiritual life fired up. Fired up. Passion, O oh God. Passion, O oh God, for the things of the Spirit. This is a place where we infect people with hunger, with passion, with fire for the things of the kingdom. Pray. This is a place of love, no discrimination, no discrimination. This is a place of love. Everyone is special. Everyone is honored. We will not teach error in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. We're almost rounding up. Listen, please. Inside and outside, everybody listen. Please. Hallelujah. I want you to know that in 2014, you are first an ambassador of heaven. Second, you are an ambassador of this ministry. Are you listening to me? That the gentleman who came and testified that he went to preach. I'm not the kind of people that does God of this, God of that. I don't have any. We teach kingdom. We give you a kingdom mindset. Are you listening to me? But because you belong to this structure, you must, there are certain, we have a culture. Are you listening to me? We have a culture. You can come as you are, but you do not remain as you are. Something should happen and change you. Hallelujah. We have core values in this place. Our first core value is love. That's why you don't see anybody. We don't say come and sit down because your father is the president or your father is the governor. We don't want to know. Where God grants us opportunity to know, we salute you and then that's all. Hallelujah. So you must contribute in letting the love of God. The first thing that should be seen in your life is love. Not power. Love. You can be anointed and not walk in love. That means this is the year that you maintain your words. The Bible says, let your words be seasoned with salt. That it may minister grace. Make up your mind this year. No gossiping about people. No backbiting. No carrying news left, right and center. Your job is to love. If somebody does something, go and talk to him, not about him. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? The love of God. He says, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. Not when you raise the dead. When you have love one for another. Hallelujah. There is no doubt that you step on one another's toes. So you must, it must be a predefined thing in your heart that you are going to walk in love. Because the Bible says there remain these three, faith, hope and love. He said the greatest is love. Hallelujah. So this is the spirit and the culture that you must have. Your conversations must speak love. When you are angry, keep quiet rather than saying nonsense. Hallelujah. The Bible says, He that does not err, if a man err not in words, that man is a perfect man, able to burdle his tongue. Just say anything anyhow. Number two, character. Everybody say character. There are many Christian circles where the men of God are just thinking of power. Let me tell you, anointing can take you far, but it's character that will sustain you. Hallelujah. That's the reason why you can see a ministry rise up. They are anointed and then they fall like a leaf because they lack the character. 
this must be the year you will contend to manifest a Christ-like life. You don't live a life, a dirty, polluted life somewhere, and then the only place they just see you in church and people say, ah, ah, even you, character. It must not be something you fake. It must be a revelation. And that's the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Character. Every, the entire scope of whatever character means to you. When you do something wrong, tell people, I'm sorry. Don't say, Debbie, I'm older than you. When I graduated, you just entered secondary school. No. No. Have respect for people. Don't come with village and tribal and cultural mindsets. I'm from a royal family. In a village, I must sit down before others sit. Keep your, you have been called out of every tribe and tongue. Are you getting my point? Listen, let me tell you something. Many of us here are young people. And we are, we are, this is a training ground. We are training you not just to be anointed people, but to be leaders. So that when you go somewhere, you can speak aright. You have a culture. Don't speak anyhow. Hallelujah. Remember, you are representing Christ. Especially for as many of us outside. Speak like a believer. Always know that the Holy Spirit is in you. Number three, the anointing. You must contend and let the anointing find expression in your life. It's not enough for you to just come and be blessed. You are a, a, an extension of the ministry. Our job here is to equip you and release you with the power of the Holy Spirit. You should go back to your hostels, go back to your workplaces and legislate on behalf of the kingdom. Not to be jumping and shouting and saying, I'm anointed, let everybody in this office bow to me. Demonstrate it. When there is breakthrough, when there is wisdom, when there is character. Hallelujah. Number four, this year, you must adopt excellence as a lifetime. Everybody say excellence. We must keep contending. It's one of the things I told the leaders. And we'll still talk more during our retreat. Hallelujah. Excellence. Excellence is not about an expensive life. Excellence is an organized life. Are you following me now? Excellence from your personal hygiene to everything about your life. There are some of us who are born again, but we are so dirty. You are so dirty. This is the one weakness. This is where the devil is cheating you. This year you must repent. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't just laugh. Excellence. Hallelujah. Your words, your words, you must pray this year. Those dirty, godless films that keep putting satanic dictions, you must get them out of your life because you are a man on a mission. Don't say anything and say, this is the slang invoke. This is a kingdom. This is a culture. Hallelujah. Jadel sang and said, this is my culture. You have a culture. Don't go ahead. They, they see you in, in, in the market and you are speaking as if, as if you, are, you are never born again. Even in your joke, joke the word. Speak the word. I'm saying this to you because many of you are emotional now. Immediately you step out of here, you almost want to do something. You just remember, ah. Don't do things because of men. Do it because God Almighty is watching you. But much more than that, that he desires to use you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Think before you talk. Don't just say everything. Even what does not concern you. This is how many people put themselves into trouble. You go and choke your mouth into people's businesses and enter their trouble too. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's very, very important. So let this year be different. Say, I'm a light. Say it, I'm a light. No offense, no unforgiveness. No, God forbid, no over my dead body. All those demonic languages, pack them and throw them outside. This is a new season. Even when, see, people will mock you, whether in your workplace or your department. Let them mock you until they see what you become. They are only mocking you because they are intimidated by the light that is shining. Hallelujah. When somebody talks against you, bless you. When they think you are coming to defraud them, they say, bless you. I heard what you said. I'm not happy, but I love you. I belong to a government. Are you following me now? Not the year of saying, let me meet with him and you will know. I asked you from the beginning, 
can two walk together so are you ready see this is it if you are ready to walk with god you will see his hand but if you are if you don't see the hand of god this year is not god's fault for me i told god i said lord whatever it takes i'm ready to walk with you hallelujah let me pray for you now i want you to believe it i want you to believe it I told God, I said, Lord, I'm more committed than ever before to serve your people. And I'm saying it before everyone. My, my primary assignment, listen, my primary assignment is you. You. Whenever you talk of koinonia, think of yourself. Don't think of Joshua Selman or the leaders in the ministry. No. Hallelujah. Without you, we have no ministry. Hallelujah. And I pray to God. I said, Lord, I'm ready to make sure that all that you have put in me, let your people receive it. Hallelujah. Before we go and we are traveling around and blessing other people, and then you are hearing of the mighty things that God is doing with us in other places, and you are wondering, oh Lord, I'm so close. And I'm not receiving anything. I told God, I said, Lord, if I never go for any ministration, this is why we are opening up the doors for counseling and all of, all of these avenues. We are restructuring the leadership to allow us to have access. In fact, I was talking with somebody and my heart was bleeding. I said, this year I will make sure I have time for the workers. There are many times that many of you want to see me, but because of how busy we are, I told myself, I said, look, not only will I be a leader or have an apostolic ministry, this year I want to be a father. I don't want people sitting down and dying and then we are there. Let me tell you, even if the whole Nigeria is talking about us and you are not getting blessed, we have failed. This is what people like Joseph Suleiman will call public success and private failure. Are you getting my point? Even if they say this ministry is not being impactful, if you are being blessed, we are fulfilled. Because you are our primary assignment. And so I'm telling you again on behalf of myself and the leadership of this ministry, we are committed. We will keep fasting. We will keep praying until you become all that God has destined for you to be. Even before anybody. So please and please, I want you to relax and know that you are not all of you. I'm speaking to everybody, even those outside. We don't have second class citizens in Koinonia. Are you listening to me? We don't have favorites. No. We love people based on our assignment. It will have to make us interact with more people than others. But let me tell you something. Everybody in this ministry has a right to be heard, has a right to see me. I'm not one superman in myself somewhere. Are you following me now? Because I know that I need to say this because many of you may have been feeling I know that there are some of you. I remember one day a lady tried calling me and I just woke up in the night and I decided that the next day I was going to call her. When I picked, I called her. This lady shouted she could not believe she dropped the phone. You understand? She was surprised. Her pursuit, I think she was telling her mother for many of you, that's nice. You feel like a celebrity based on God's standard. That is, that is very bad of a leader. I can't promise seeing everybody where you want. Don't wake me when I'm sleeping because I made a commitment to help. I still have my sense, all right? I won't pick your call. Praise God. But then I'm saying there is a system. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, I've made up my mind that we will have special counseling sessions for the workers special just the workers one by one by one one by one see everybody pray with you if you are not a worker these are some of the things you are missing praise god hallelujah there are privileges that our leaders must receive for instance the heads of departments cannot book for counseling it's an insult why will my leaders book for counseling to come and see me you see that so don't be offended if you have to book for counseling. I promise you we'll stay as long as possible to meet your needs. Are you following me now? And some of your family members, if you try to call me and I don't pick, by God's grace we are going to announce, we are strategizing. In fact, 
there are a few new departments we are creating to make sure that we meet the needs of everybody that even if it's a text you send you will be responded to so just cooperate with us we are improving this year will be better than last year in Jesus name lift your hands let me pray for you you too you must be ready to cooperate look at me I've said my own part what I'm committed to do to you you must be committed your own part of commitment is don't frustrate our sacrifice receive what we are teaching let it not enter one ear and go out there put it to work hallelujah and be evangelist say do the work of an evangelist invite people not just people who are not serious people who really 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 need help and need god father in the name of jesus we thank you for 2014 please make sure you lift your hands especially those outside i'm watching i bless you in the name of jesus i bless you with the blessings of heaven i bless you with the presence of god i bless you with the anointing of the holy spirit i pray for you that even as you've begun in this space you will sustain this space to the end of the year i rebuke death we will not mourn the death of anybody this year in the name of jesus christ therefore any covenant that anyone has with death Anywhere they have said they must bury you this year, we cancel that report now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that the scepter of dominion come upon your hand. That as you leave this place, you will begin to reproduce what you are seeing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let the doors of wealth be open unto you. Let the doors of influence be open unto you. I pray that this year, your prayer life will enter another dimension. Your word life will enter another dimension. I pray that the spirit of true holiness will come upon you this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray that the Lord will make your feet like Heinz feet that you will run and overtake everyone that has gone ahead of you i pray for you that before you pray this year before you even make mention of it may the lord answer you may the lord hear you in the day of trouble i pray for your businesses i command them to prosper i command them to flourish in the name of jesus May the Lord grant you the desires of your heart. I pray that the anointings and the graces God has put upon this ministry, let them find expression in your life. Everywhere you go this year, you are favored. You are favored, favored with God, favored with men. In the name of Jesus. All those who have planned to put you down, they are the ones who will celebrate your lifting this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command that you are preserved. You enjoy the ministry of angels. And I pray for you that this gift of God that is in you, that not even you will be able to hide it this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let those who need what you carry look for you. You will not look for them this year. I compel them to look for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, May the mighty hand of God go with you. I pray for you wisdom. Exams is starting when? On Monday. Lift your hands. I pray. Whether you are writing exams or not, lift your hands. Whether you are a student or not, you can connect for people. It's a corporate anointing here. I pray for you. Especially for final year students. Any power that says you must come back to this school, we cancel it right now. For those of you who need the mercy of God to graduate, we command that mercy right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every lecturer that has vowed to keep you must let you go this time around. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you supernatural intelligence. Let a mantle of intelligence come upon you. I prophesy upon you, pursue, overtake, recover all 
everything those some of you are trusting God to enter to two to enter to one and this is the last exam that will determine it I pray like Samson may the hand of God come upon you and may you do wonders I bless your exams this is the best exam you have ever written in the name of Jesus your papers will not be missing in the name of Jesus and for those still trusting God for admission, it's not over. I hope you know. I prophesy that the, the God on the third day, He said, if any man thirst, let him come. There are some of you who have concluded you did not see your name. I pray that may the Lord God, the one who is never too late, visit you in this 2014. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the beauty and the glory of God arise in you in the name of Jesus. Another, oh, I remember, I must say it. I saw something that shocked me. Well, let me just say it. Still about prosperity. I was taken in a vision and I remember I was standing in front of this church. This, the, the Equa Church. And I looked and I saw an array of cars. In my mind, listen, listen. In my mind, I was saying, uh -uh. a lot of cars right from that place down. And I was, I, was, I was wondering, I said, Lord, what is all this one again? This is amazing. This is what you are going to do for families and for people. And many of them will be gifts. It will not be something that someone will buy. Gifts. Gifts. I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, Lord, I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe. Hallelujah. There will be a lot of dramatic manifestations of miracles, signs, wonders in a scale that will shock you families i saw a lot of unbelievers i saw a lot of muslims coming here i saw a lot of some of our family members that vowed that they will never come here you watch them by themselves you don't need to by themselves the mighty things that god will do mighty things mighty things in the rain in the sun Hallelujah. These great things that God will do. Hallelujah. Do you believe these things I'm sharing? Hallelujah. God will do this for the glory of His name. Praise the Lord. I wanted to say it to Him personally, but Bishop, I saw you driving a Camry, right? <laughs> Brown Camry. I've been struggling to tell him. God will bring a lot of prosperity, even in the house. You know, we had been planning for just one bus. You will be amazed to see what God will do this year. Amazed. Amazed. Not just because of Project 10,000. Hallelujah. See, the Bible says, when Jesus was born, some people saw the light and they started coming with their gifts. They came with gold. They came with frankincense. They came with myrrh. And the Bible says they started looking for that star. Nothing would deter them until they found the baby and they began to drop the gifts. Watch out. 
and see dramatic manifestations. People will just be sleeping and God will just wake them and say, come and bless the house of God. Come and bless the work of God. Hallelujah. And I saw this spilling over to many families. Even restoration. Restoration. Supernatural restoration. Hallelujah. Very quickly, so we'll pray. A few resolutions that I want you to adopt this year. A few resolutions. You need to make up your mind on some things. It's not enough to shout Amen. He said, This charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you war a good warfare with the prophecies that have been spoken unto you. So, when prophecy comes, the Bible says a virgin will bear a son. It never said Mary. Mary made herself available. Huh? The Bible tells us someone was going to betray him, Jesus. He never called Judas. Judas aligned with that prophecy. Prophecy is like rain. If you bring a bucket, you will get water. Hallelujah. Number one. You must have a childlike heart of a learner. This year, 2011, you must increase your passion for insight. You must increase your passion. And this requires meekness and teachability. This is the year you throw away arrogance, MOG, MO, whatever. Just throw it away and humble yourself. Hallelujah. When it was time for Jesus to give them bread, he said, tell the people to sit down on the grass. That means if you are too big to sit down, no bread for you. He said, if you are interested in eating bread, sit down. Hallelujah. He says, one thing is needful. Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things. But this one thing is needful, to sit. Not to stand and be staring at the master, to sit. A position that puts you... In ancient times, when a rabbi was teaching, the people sat down. Nobody would stand and be listening to a rabbi. So this is the year that you will sit down. You must have a passion in your heart to learn. Some of you, even when you come out to pray, the way you are praying, we know you are far from God. You cannot even construct a good spiritual sentence. You just mix everything. You just know that this is... You know how politicians talk. When they come on stage, they try to act like they know God. But their addictions betray them. One of the common things in any culture is their language. Hallelujah. Number two, you must have a resolve. You must have a determination to apply and live by the revealed truth. No matter the price and no matter the temporary challenge. You must have a resolve. A determination to apply and live by the revealed truth. These truths that you are hearing, it will not profit you. Please, those outside, make sure you are listening. If you cannot write anything, you can come and meet the media people and they will give you our messages are free after the meeting. Apply the things. It's not just what you know, but what you know, what you understand and apply. Hallelujah. Apply the truth. No matter the price. No matter the challenge. Number three. You must have a resolve to place God and His agenda this year above every other pursuit, above every other quest, and above every other ambition. You cannot give God second place this year. Hallelujah. So it's a time for you to go back and search. What have you put above God? There are many of us, you love God, you are born again. But for sure, God is not number one. You must make Him above all. The true proof of love and passion is commitment. You cannot claim to love a man or a thing and not be committed. Doggedly committed. And let me use the opportunity to encourage you. Join a department. There are many of you that have been sitting here for one year, two years. You just come and find the place clean and you just start laughing. It's not good. You don't know how the chairs are clean. You don't know who swept what. You don't know where they had the rehearsals. And, and you are full of potential and grace. There is a dimension that only kingdom service can take you into. 
this should be the year many of us are afraid of commitment because we know we don't want to be serious with god you don't want a situation where people will probe your life there are many departments make yourself available hallelujah make yourself available huh so just coming to sit inside and sit outside immediately they finish the grace you and your friend you just run away serve the lord with diligence hallelujah number what now four okay just two more resolve to see the glory of god revealed in every area of your life make up your mind that this year i'm not going to celebrate god in one aspect of my life and then have another aspect staring at me that means you must go and write all the areas of your life i have a series on prosperity coming so i'm going to teach on that but let me give you a preview that there are five areas of your life that you must experience prosperity the word prosperity comes from the word prosper it means to do well first is spiritual prosperity second is mental prosperity if you're a billionaire and you are mad you are not that's that's it doesn't make sense is that true number three is your health number four is your finances and number five is your relationships these five areas you must contend and tell god this year i must have rest round about the glory of the lord must be revealed in every one of these areas five resolve to enforce order in every area of your life this is very important many of us are so disorganized this is the year you will grow up in jesus name disorganized in every area of our lives this is the year you bring yourself into a level of decorum have order hallelujah one proof of excellence is order when everything is done decently when everything is done in order order means efficient management of your time your opportunities your resources bring your life under divine order no wasting of time no wasting of resources no wasting of opportunities you must bring your life under divine order hallelujah and finally you must make a determination to spend time with god this year in worship in prayer let seven days not pass let a week not pass that you will not dedicate at least a day in prayer and fasting those who built us spiritually did not teach us that prayer and fasting are part of the tools for efficient spiritual growth. So every time we do it, a lot of people just say, oh, okay, let's fast for 7 days or 21 days or 30 days or 40 days or 100 days or 200 days. And then after that, the people now say, God, I've given you your own share of the year. Leave the other for me. No. Fasting must be part of your life at least once in a year. Or once in a week, sorry. Thursdays are a good time to fast. Can fast on Thursdays. Prepare yourself. If you can't fast full day, at least fast half day. Quality half day. Quality half day. Don't wake up by 10 and, and pray by it. See, you remember the resolutions we are making. Some of you are already laughing. This is the year when you will be serious with God. If you want true spiritual power, spend time with God in fasting. Don't let anybody tell you the era of fasting is over and so on and so forth. No, no. Thursdays, for instance, 6 to 12, 6 to 2, 6 to 4, 6 to 6, as God grants you the ability, very soon it will become part of your life. And then you will see the enormous spiritual capacity. He gave unto one five unto one two unto one one not according to their prayer request according to their ability the capacity they gave him determined what he gave them when the man with five increased capacity he sees it from the person with one and added to him if you enlarge when there was no more vessel the oil stopped flowing hallelujah praise the lord our priority this year as a ministry will be to build, to equip and empower God's people. Even through these meetings, 
we will keep on doing what we are doing the hand of god is here by the grace of god we trust that this year god will use this ministry in a very mighty way hallelujah that every week will be a time of an unveiling of deep truths applicable revelations that you will see transformation in your life i was praying to god and i was i think i was discussing with the welfare i said this year by the grace of god i plan i i, I don't know I, I let me not implicate myself here but i pray that god will help me hallelujah i want to make sure that as much as possible every friday i'm around you see because my primary assignment is not to the nations around my primary assignment is to you first if you are not well fed and i'm around making everybody saying joshua selman koinonia and my own people are dying here reminds me of some of our parents isn't it who will be dying at home and they are donating money in in foundations and and charities which is good but make sure your own people are well fed you can even add that as part of your goals this year that you will not do anything to anybody outside your family except God instructs that you have not done to the people around. Hallelujah. If you buy chicken for other people, then it means that there is chicken in your house. If God gives you an instruction, it's okay. But when you just get up and stab the people in your house to feed other people, it doesn't make sense. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We trust God that we will experience healings, deliverance, and restoration and breakthroughs, even through the power of the Holy Spirit. We really want to take advantage of our counselings, our Monday counselings. From this night, officially, we've resumed work. Our counselling, we want to dedicate time to minister to the people. Our Friday programs, Koinonia, School of Ministry, uh, more announcements will come on that but we plan to take the school of ministry very very serious it's a special time we have to train and build our students our external administration media ministry and so on and so forth we are doing a lot uh, in koinonia this year and as other instructions come by we will comply accordingly hallelujah say after me this is my year of light it's my year of dominion Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Rise up on your feet. We're going to take some quality time to pray. This is how to establish the prophetic word. We're not rounding up. We're praying. Hallelujah. I want us to take some time to pray. It says, This charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you wore a good warfare. What does it mean to war a good warfare in prayer? To say, Lord, I receive. This must be part of my life. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Please, I want you to pray instrumentally. I hope you're ready. We're going to pray very, very seriously. Very seriously. Lift your voice and begin to thank Him for the prophetic word. Say, year of light and dominion. Begin to bless Him. Thank you for the word, O God. I believe the word. I believe the word. I believe the word. I believe the word. Make sure you are praying. Outside, everywhere, make sure you are praying. This is between you and God. You are making the word real to you. Lord, it's my year of light. My year of insight. Increase insight. Rekete koshota baka prekete bananabash. Sheka baka tabanabash. I thank you for the word. I thank you for the word. I believe the word. I will see it manifest in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray supernatural insight into scripture. Say, Lord, open my eyes this year. Lift your voice and pray. Open my eyes, O oh God. Show me hidden mysteries. Let there be an unveiling. 
a revelation of deep kingdom mysteries deep kingdom principles that are responsible for victory for health for prosperity that will empower me to be an ambassador in thee open my eyes the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord searching the inward parts of the belly open our eyes oh God that we may behold wondrous things out of your law give me revelation pray Paul said for this cause I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ that he may grant unto you the spirit of revelation and understanding the eyes of your understanding be flooded with light that he may know that he may know pray open my eyes so oh God open my eyes so oh God hallelujah insight that you will just pick up your Bible and God will show you something that will set you on your feet it will show you something that will open you up to a, another world of grace hallelujah hallelujah listen listen two years or three years ago one time I was praying and the Lord showed me a vision and that thing changed my life forever I saw like a big like an ancient door and when I looked at it very well I found out that there were small small doors that made up that big door and when I came closer it, it was like they zoomed me and when I came I found out that on every of those small small doors there were scriptures written on it and the Lord told me that whatever scripture that truly enters you that door is open unto you that means what is possible for some uh, may not be possible for Folake. are you seeing that the difference is that the light you are seeing is not sufficient to open that door but the Bible says I have set before you an open door no man can shut it hallelujah prayer point number two we are going to pray for understanding. It's not enough to have insight. Listen, listen. Take this prayer point seriously. You are going to say, Lord, all the principles that are responsible for the various areas of lifting, show me how they work. Show me how they work. Lift your voice and pray. Show me the keys of wealth, oh God. Show me how to operate it. Show me the keys of the anointing. Show me how to access the fountains of spiritual power. Show me the keys of holiness. Show me the keys of deliverance. Show me the keys that will make me command power even in my family. Make sure you are praying, understanding, and with all you're getting, get understanding. Know how it works. Know how it works. It's not enough to have keys. Know how to apply it for maximum results. Pray. Pray. Show me, oh God, the keys. Show me how to operate it. The Bible says they know not. Neither do they understand. And so they grow up in darkness. And the earth is out of course. Show me. I tell you, many of you as you are praying right now, God will begin to give you understanding. Show me the mystery behind the operations of wealth. Show me the mystery behind the operations of grace. Show me the mystery. What makes the Spirit of God become so real to a man show me the secret of church growth the secret of increase 
the secret of influence the secret of leadership the secret of power the secret of abundance show me oh god the mystery of doing business in deep waters of the spirit show me show me teach me oh god hallelujah 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 we are going to pray isaiah 48 verse 17 can we project that let's see i hope i'm right Everybody read it. You are going to pray and say, Lord, this year, you are going to direct me and my life will experience increase only. He said, I am the Lord that teacheth thee to profit. I can teach you how to do it and lead you in the way that you should go. Lift your voice and pray. Rekoto Sekata. Divine direction. Let the stars shine. Let the morning stars shine, O oh God. Lead me to the place of destiny. Lead me to the next level. I'm tired of confusion. Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. Go ahead and pray. Maritali, give me direction, oh God. I cry for direction. Financially, give me direction, oh God. Academically, lead me, oh God. Let the star arise. And let me follow the star. In terms of my career, lead me, O God. Rekoto Seketa. Lead me. Show me. In my ministry, show me, O God. Show me. Give me direction. Pray. Illumination. By light. I am the Lord that teaches thee to profit and lead you. Show me, show me, show me, oh God, where you want me to be, what you want me to do, who you want me to connect with. Show me, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next prayer point. You are going to pray and say, Lord, let a new dimension of unction, let a new dimension of power man to my life. This year, Lord, I want to move in the anointing in a level of grace. He said, and he measured a thousand cubits. Lift your voice and pray. A thousand cubits. And he was to my ankle. For no man can do these things except God be with him. Pray. My horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. And you will anoint me with fresh oil. Because thou art love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore God, even thy God, had anointed you. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Pray. Lord, I'm moving in the anointing. Pray. This is the year. You do business with the anointing. You do your job with the anointing. You minister with the anointing. You conduct your activities under the influence of a heavy unction he says you have an anointing from the holy one and you know all things pray pray worship him pray we minister with the anointing 
media pray the anointing takes us to another level pray upon pray we are praying with the anointing regoto seketa koinonia pray this is our year of the anointing inside and outside no matter how far you are let that anointing take you walk in signs wonders miracles let the sick be healed through your life let breakthroughs let chains be broken let life be delivered and restored let sinners be saved let the anointing make you a savior let the anointing make you a deliverer hallelujah 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 two more prayer points and we are done please everybody participate we are establishing the prophetic word right now hallelujah listen this next prayer point is very important you are going to pray listen the bible says arise it says shine and the bible says in daniel i believe 12 or 22 or so i can't remember verse 3 it says and they that be wise shall shine like the firmament of the heaven and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars even forevermore listen you are going to pray it's not a selfish prayer don't pray for your neighbor you are praying for yourself you're going to say lord display show what you have put in me this year my God, let men see the hand of God. Go ahead and pray. Unveil it. Unlock it, oh God. In 2014, my year of life, I manifest. I am a city to my family, in my department, in my faculty, in my place of work, in my place of business. Reketetetekata. Let there be a showing forth. Show forth, oh God. Show forth prosperity through me. Show forth a healthy Christian through me. Show forth holiness through me. Show forth breakthrough through me. Let me become a portrait and a pistol. Show forth. Manifest, oh God. Manifest, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. There are many of us. This is the year. Your destiny help us. I'm so, supposed to see you. Hold on. You are going to pray that that veil that has covered that grace of God in you, that unction, the Bible says there is this treasure. There are many of you. You have been relegated to the background. This is the year. This is the year. Say, Lord, arise in me. Come on, pray. Lord, arise. Let men see you through me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If you are looking for a vessel, I'm available. Let me be an epitome of the anointing. An epitome of wisdom. An epitome of wealth and prosperity an epitome of leadership an epitome of power an epitome of revelation pray pray Make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Listen, brothers and sisters, this prayer is so powerful. There are many of you that have business ideas, but nobody knows. It's an idea that can bless you and stop hunger in your family but nobody knows when light comes it exposes darkness let me show you a scripture Galatians 1 
Galatians 1. Let's just look at that one scripture. Galatians 1. God's timing is often different from ours, but it's always perfect. As we wrap up today's message, I want to remind you that while you may be waiting, God is working. Don't grow weary in the waiting. Instead, rest in the knowledge that His timing is better than anything we could plan. If this message... Uh, that we just listened to from God's servant Apostle Joshua Salman. If it encouraged you, if it what you were blessed by it, if you felt a touch, you received a blessing from it. I want you to share with someone, I want you to share with a friend, I want you to share with a family, a loved one, a neighbor, your colleague. Share with someone, let them partake in this blessing, partake in this wisdom, let their wisdom, let their knowledge, their understanding be en enlarged, let it be widen let it be added and as you do that the lord will bless you in jesus name if you're just coming across reflector hub tv for the first time please don't forget to subscribe for more messages that will build your faith and strengthen your walk with god i want you that i want you to know that god is orchestrating every detail of your life for your good the comment section is always open just drop your thoughts your prayer requests your uh, maybe you want to share something with us just drop it in the comment section and as you do that the lord almighty we bless you for the prayer request we will pray with you as you drop it in jesus name amen don't forget to like this video don't forget to comment yes like i said earlier and as you do that the lord almighty will bless you please i want to also encourage us that we go back on this video that we've watched i want us to meditate i want us to pray i want us to stay with the word watch this video over and over and over again for a better understanding so we can get a better better understanding and i pray that as we do that or while we do that the holy spirit will interpret to us things that we find difficult to understand open our understanding bless us more give answers to our prayers in jesus name amen and i want to always also uh, advise and encourage that please we should stick with god stick with his word stick with prayer stick with dwelling in him and i pray that as we do that may the lord bless us in jesus name stay blessed and see you in the next video